In the U.S., Occupy protesters have descended on a quiet California Redwood retreat, where some of the world's elite gather every year. Demonstrators say the two weeks, officially portrayed as a time of rest and relaxation, is really a chance to discuss plans for the world's future. Straight from the San Francisco airport, I headed to Monte Rio, a city with beautiful redwoods and picturesque coastlines. The perfect getaway for the world's rich and powerful. And in fact, every year, CEOs, media moguls, and high-level politicians flock here to the Bohemian Grove's secluded campout. Their motto here is that weaving spiders come not here, which they claim means there's no business discussions. It's just a vacation for the wealthy men. Author and activist Mark Dice has a rare Grove yearbook issued every decade, showing everything from men in drag to high-profile politicians giving speeches. The book shows George W. Bush and his father giving lakeside talks, along with Presidents Jimmy Carter and Richard Nixon. Others who have attended are David Brooks of the New York Times, along with CEOs from CNN and Fox, Jimmy Buffett, David Rockefeller, and Henry Kissinger. Mark also has an official 2005 membership list of Grove attendees. Your typical warmongers, George Bush Sr., Colin Powell, Richard Pearl, and your, your typical Republican establishment insiders. We know what you're doing. We know what goes on in here. An event with so little transparency has bred theories, some of them pretty wild, about what goes on on the inside, especially at the cremation of care ritual, where Grove members burn a coffin effigy to a 40-foot owl. Again, the Have you, you ever bastards. seen the Bohemian Grove footage <laughs> where Alex Jones filmed all these yeah, elites yeah. dressing up like druids and worshiping the owl god Moloch? That's real, dude. I they know. They really do that. I know. They I do know. that. But what do you, what do you eye roll with, motherfucker? I'm eye rolling that the, that Don't the you Illuminati doesn't Brian, control the world because Brian. nobody's that organized. Well, maybe they're not. But did you, you ever go. see there that you Bohemian go. Grove thing? That is absolutely 100% so real. No, no, it's not so what, Brian? It's people dressing up like wizards saying some it's sacred weird, ritual. It doesn't mean they control shit. It's you weird, burning, burning an effigy yeah. in front of an owl Same god. Same with Burning Man. Bro, this is so different than Burning Man. It's the government. It's people at the highest the levels government. of banks. It's all these different famous people. There's a bunch of crazy, really rich, influential people that went to that Bohemian Grove and dressed up like druids and they chanted things. Yeah. Have you ever seen it? Yeah, I saw it. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open. We got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. I'll, I'll tell, tell you a couple, couple of stories about, about fraud. fraud. The Bohemian Club. The, as you say, the Bohemian Club? That's where all those rich Republicans go up and stand naked against redwood trees, right? I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air. What's this picture of? I actually don't remember. Let's see you at the Bohemian Grove. Okay. You told me that oh, yeah. uh, I'm delusional. You know, it's nice to know that there's some people who have fantasy lives. It's not that fantasy, have nothing to touch with. Nice to, video nice to have you here. Bye bye. So you were there. Can we talk yes, to you about it, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, first question? Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, you gave a keynote speech at the Bohemian Grove Club, sir. A club which openly has mock child sacrifices and satanic me, worship, sir. Say, Can you answer my question, say, sir, please? I was very pleased. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. It was a good debate. Uh, what about the I Bohemian Grove Club, though, sir? Uh, That's very was, important. They, they do mock human sacrifices there, sir, and you reported being I was, there. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. Sir, why did you ignore my question, sir? Can we have open dialogue? You. If you want to be president, Let's have an open dialogue about this. You just ignored me, sir. It was the night of July 15, 2000. Mike Hansen and I were about to attempt the first ever successful infiltration of the Bohemian Grove. Others have tried and failed. No one has ever actually made it in and out with video evidence. After careful planning, we decided the best tactic would be to insert ourselves about a half mile from the main entrance into the heavily wooded area, entering the gorge by stealth and getting into the main parking area. From there, we posed as Bohemian Club members. 
thus entering the inner sanctums of the New World Order. After landing in San Francisco at the International Airport, we traveled through the city, across the Golden Gate Bridge, into deeper northern California. From there north to Santa Rosa, going west on Highway 12, the gateway to Bohemian Grove. Well, here we are, folks, turning on to the Bohemian Highway and Bohemian Grove. We're going to find out what in the New World Order is going on here. Uh, there's a guard gate right over it, a small guard gate, and then back further, an even more elaborate guard gate with surveillance cameras, you name it. Not a through road, ladies and gentlemen, right up here in Northern California. What do you think about Bohemian Grove? I used to work there. You used to work there? Yeah. And now you work at Camp Meeker? No, I don't work. Yeah, I live in Camp Meeker. Oh, you live there? Yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, did you ever watch the cremation of care? Um, no, no. What'd you do at the? I just, I just worked there. But I mean, yeah. you, you never saw him march around in the red robes and no, march? no. Oh, really? That doesn't go on. Cool, but yeah. I <laughs> okay. Thanks. I don't know. We always hear there's like big, fat, rich guys with prostitutes there. Really? Yeah. What about, about the? What about the owl and the rituals? Uh, I don't know anything about it. Never heard about the rituals. Rituals. Uh, Ritual killing of a human sacrifice of a human? Nope. Never heard of it. What would you think if that was going on? I think it was pretty weird. Wouldn't be that surprised. I mean, it is our government after all. What, did you work there? Or worked there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful area? Yeah, yeah, very beautiful. Uh, it's well, got big trees. Have you ever been there for the cremation but of care? No. So you've never been there for the rituals? No. You ever heard about them? Yes. What have you heard they do, sir? Nothing. They got that tree that looks like an owl. Tree that looks like an owl? Tree or rock? It's, it's a carving or it's where the stage is. But have you heard what they do during that? During the? No, I have no idea what they do. During what would that. you say if we told you they they burn a human being in effigy? They don't really do it. They burn it in effigy. I don't know what that means. Well, they have like a dummy that looks like a person under a black blanket. Huh? They take it up there and burn it. No, oh, I don't know. Pretty weird. Huh? Pretty weird. Yeah, I've never seen that. Here's just one of many signs sporting French with skulls adorned with other trappings of death. We also saw signage with Latin and other ancient languages. Here you can see the bottom of the stone owl with the altar and the eternal flame, a Aladdin lamp style urn that continually burns year around, we're told. Keep in mind the scale of the idol compared to those giant redwood trees. It's at least 45 feet tall. This is America, and it's been going on for 120 plus years in Northern California. This is not some new fad. We're talking about something deadly serious with its roots in ancient history. One of the Sonoma County Sheriff's deputies showed up and began asking us why we were filming. We calmly told him we were just sightseeing as members of the Bohemian Club. The point that has to be made here, though, is they do have hidden cameras. After escaping the Sheriff's Department, Mike and I traveled high into the hills to wait until dark and the beginning of the cremation of care ceremony. Alex. 
before the cremation of care, all the Bohemian Club members begin a massive feast of revelry. <laughs> He's so pissed off at me. After the feast, cult members travel from the main dining area under the trees out to the eastern side of the lake where they congregate and prepare themselves to properly thank their deity. Again, the 3,000 plus year old Moloch. The occult activities are coming up. And then after the actual ritual, we're going to give you some more of the history surrounding it. But first off, I wanted to draw your attention to the program that was given out to the spectators or the viewers. I guess an occultist would call them novices uh, who actually watched as the priest uh, and their supporters engaged in this ancient rite. Now you're looking at a little demon called PJ that was on the front of the actual program. It's kind of an Hieronymus Bosch style. He's got a little broom and a dustpan and he's sweeping something up. Now even more shocking is the figure of a human body burning in the flames. In fact, I've shown it uh, to people that are experts in anatomy, to actual doctors, and they say that the anatomical size is that of a baby or small child. Notice how large the cranium is in comparison to the torso, that is the ribs. Understand, ladies and gentlemen, this is from the program itself given out to the establishment lackeys witnessing the sinister activities. Remember, in Babylon and Tyre, they would throw their children into fiery pits. Look at the size of the hands compared to the rest of the body. At long last, here it is, the cremation of care unveiled. <laughs> As we sat there in the darkness, not knowing what we were about to see in the gathering crowd, suddenly across the small lake, we saw a carriage with men in black and brown cloaks, robes in front and in back, bearing a bound body. Remember, it was a hidden camera and at somewhat of an angle. Something particularly pleasing was happening for the Bohemian Grovers with whatever developed with that crowd uh, of men in black and brown and the bound body on the back of the buggy. They drove behind big black tarps they had hanging out of the trees. There was lots of smacking on lips of in, in bizarre enjoyment by the crowd. We still haven't made out exactly what was going on, but that a real sacrifice may have actually been developing according to some occult experts. All the time in the darkness across the small lake, uh, the men in black were doing something behind the dark curtains hanging from the redwood trees. Then after about 10 more minutes of music, suddenly all around the owl activity began. Here is the main central part of the ritual. Let all winds of the grove be reverent before him. Lift up your heads, O ye trees, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting spires. For behold, here is Bohemian shrine, and holy are the pillars of this house.
he begins with the ripple of waters, song of birds, such music as inspires the sinking soul, that we invite you to midsummer's joy. The sky above is blue, the soul with stars, the forest floor is deep with fragrant drift. The evening's cool kiss is yours. The campfires glow. The birth of rosy fingers gone. Shake off your sorrows with the city's dust and cast to the winds the cares of life. But memory bring back the well-loved names of gallant friends who knew and loved this girl. Dear boon companions of the long ago, I let them join us in this ritual. Not a place be empty in our midst. No oh, beauty vassals who hold in this gray autumn of the world her springtime in your heart. Attend our tale. Gather ye forest folk and cast your spell over these mortals. Touch their world blind eyes with fairy unbeat. Open their eyes Follow the memories of yesterday and seal the gates of sorrow. It is a dream, and yet not all a dream. Joel Care and all of his works are but a dream. As vanished Babylon and Ridley Tyre, so shall they also vanish. But the wilding rose blows on the broken battlements of Tyre and walks rend the stones of Babylon. For beauty is eternal, and we bow to beauty everlasting. For a lasting happiness, we turn to one alone, and she surrounds you now. Great nature, refuge of the weary heart, and only balm for breasts that have been bruised. We have cool hands for every favorite brow, and gentlest silence for the troubled soul. And the counsels are most wise. She healeth well, having such ministries as calm and sleep. She is ever faithful. Other friends may fail, but seek ye her in any quiet place. Smiling, she will rise and give to you her kiss. So must he come as children. Little children that believe nor ever doubt her beauty and her faith, nor deem her tenderness can change or die. Here you have the boatman, his face painted up like a skull, bringing the bound body across the water. Again, we'll have enhanced video of this later. And uh, let's see if you can pick up all the different occultic meanings uh, in the speeches you're about to hear.
the shadowy tide and all the ancient majesty of death. No ardent enemy of you. Not for thee that has been forgiven, or the rest will say, fire shall have its will of thee, and all the winds make merry with thy dust. Bring fire! Nourished on the gates of hell. 
Upon further research of the ritual you just witnessed, it becomes clear. It is a mixture of the Babylonian Canaanite cult of Moloch fused with ancient Druidic rites where you have the female side of Satan, which they first call out to in the she, and then towards the horn god with the he, mixed with Masonic rites from Scotland. It's very likely that many of the 1,500 to 2,000 member crowd had really no idea what they were actually watching because it was thinly veiled. Here we have some more enhanced video as the boatman, again with his face painted up like a skull, pulls his boat uh, across the small lake towards the high priest with the red of his cloak visible with his hand outstretched as if he is pulling the damned soul towards him as they throw off their cares, their conscience for what they have to do in the world. Also, you have the arrangement of the circle of higher level priests around him, the high priest in lighter colors, and then the outer rooms of red, and then those in black. Uh, this is consistent uh, with the darker workings of the occult not just with the Western uh, countries, but also worldwide. Now, when you see that black edge coming to the field, that's because we zoomed in on the video, and many times the picture was almost out of the screen, so that's the edge of the field or the view of the camera.
benevolence which pursues here has lost its power under these friendly trees. So shall we burn thee once again this night, and in the flames that eat thine effigy, we shall read the sign, Midsummer sets us free. You shall burn me once again! <laughs> Now with these flames, which hither ye have fought from regions where I reign, ye fools and priests, I spit upon your fire. Wow. Prince of all mortal wisdom, thou of Bohemia, we beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. Thou of Bohemia, There you see the funeral pyre burning uh, with the effigy of a human, or it could be real, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's been a lot of strange going-ons in that area of Northern California, but this is what the establishment is into uh, right here in America, the cremation of care. And this was July 15, 2000. These people are deadly serious, those taking part in the ceremony. Another point, the pyrotechnics you're seeing going off uh, were being released from beneath little rod iron crosses about a foot and a half tall. Also, notice the screams of pain coming uh, from the sacrifice. One of the facets of the ritual that goes deeply into the occult, again, we've already mentioned the druids at their bonfires or 
bonfires, throwing, throwing bodies into fiery pits after ritually cutting their hearts out or slitting their throats. They talk about reading the sign in the burning effigy, reading the sign. Again, research your history books on the occult, even the Encyclopedia Britannica on what the Druids would engage in. Um, this is just unbelievably macabre and evil. I want to make it clear that I'm neither Republican nor Democrat, but the facts speak for itself. George Bush Sr., Jr., even their grandfather Prescott Bush were all members of the Bohemian Club. So we dropped by to, well, let them know that we're fully aware of their activities. This is massive. This is how George Bush dresses up, right here. We got them on tape. This is how they dress up, right here, in red and black robes. A little more pointy, though, like the Klan. We got them on tape. This is how George Bush dresses, right here when he's in the Bohemian Grove. This is how he dresses. We've already put it on television. Absolutely disgusting. George Bush is a conservative. He's not for family values. He is nothing but a Luciferian twit. A Luciferian twit, Bush. You may think you can feed on the human population. We say no to you. We're on the march. The empire is on the run. Long live the Constitution and death to the new world order. We stand firm. We stand strong for America against your evil, Bush. And we're going to get this story out. And we're going to continue to push it because the truth will not be hidden. That you are part of a 3,000 plus year old devil cult for the owl falling from Babylon as well as Tyre. We have the high priest admitting all this. We have it on videotape. It is documented. It is documented. A Luciferian devil worshiper. They're, they're had to be, in my belief, a, an occultist, a deep occultist, who designed each of the elements of this ceremony. It wasn't just a bunch of guys sit together at a bar and said, hey, let's have a good time, the cremation of care, uh, and why don't we do this or that. I believe it was purposely designed, each element in its turn, uh, for, for what they did. No doubt about it. I would only hope that the people of the world realize the organized evil we're dealing with at almost every level. Republican, Democrat, you name it. They're all working on the same team. Ladies and gentlemen, it's called world government, the new world order, dehumanization. It's not a joke. It's deadly serious. Unfortunately, they've been breeding societies to think everything's a joke. I'm here to tell you truth is stranger than fiction.